Today's topic is optical isomerism. So compounds which rotate the plane polarized light are known as optically active compounds and that rotation angle of rotation is measured in degree that angle of rotation is measured in degrees and that is called angle of rotation and this angle of rotation of an optically active compound is measured by polarimeter in order to place angle of rotation on standard basis chemist calculate specific rotation what is this specific rotation denoted by alpha and that is equal to angle of rotation divided by concentration into length of the polarimeter tube length of the polarimeter tube to see the working you can view my previous video of of polarimeter theta is angle of rotation in degrees c is concentration now this concentration keep in mind concentration is not in mole per liter this concentration of solution is in gram per ml do remember this unit concentration of solution is in gram per ml it is not mole per liter it is not molarity it is not molality it is not mole fraction it is just like density and for pure liquid for solution it is gram of the substance per ml of the solution and for pure liquid it is called density because it is mass of the liquid per ml of the given liquid length again length is not in centimeter it is in decimeter length of polarimeter tube in decimeter and you know 1 decimeter is equal to 10 cm 1 decimeter is equal to 10 cm so this is the way to calculate specific rotation just yes, this is observed angle of rotation by polarimeter you get this value from polarimeter then you know the concentration of the solution filled in the polarimeter tube and that is should be in gram per ml if it is given in other units convert it into gram per ml then length given in any unit convert it into decimeter so you will get your specific rotation specific rotation also depends upon the wavelength of the light used so normally we use sodium light d line of sodium 589.6 and temperature so do remember it also depends upon wavelength and the temperature but we fix wavelength and temperature that's why we will not write it in this expression so normally we write it as d 25 that means we use d line of the sodium lamp whose wavelength is 589.6 this lambda of sodium light 589.6 and at 25 degree celsius so this is the way to calculate specific rotation this is the question on specific rotation see if a solution of a compound that is 20 g per 100 ml of solution has measured rotation of plus 10 degree 
in a two decimeter long sample tube then what is the specific rotation of the compound as in this case we have to calculate specific rotation lambda and temperature is not mentioned that means lambda and temperature is fixed in the expression we write d line of sodium that has wavelength of 589.6 nanometer and temperature 25 degree celsius here we write lambda t they are fixed because it is not given and that is equal to theta divided by c into l this is angle of rotation of polarimeter that is given plus 10 degree and c what is concentration concentration is in gram per ml but here it is 20 gram in 100 ml so we write it like so this is c 0 0.2 gram per ml then length is already in decimeter so no no need to convert in any other unit now we write it in this expression plus 10 divided by 0 0.2 into 2 so it comes out to be plus 10 divided by 0 0.4 that means it is 100 by 4 plus 25 degree specific rotation is also reported in degree but its actual units are degree centimeter square for